how's it going guys so it's late night right now it's about 12 37 in the morning and i got a package that came in the mail and i've been so anxious to open it this package is from a niche fragrance house that is based over in london this house goes by the name of bell suntour and what immediately caught my eye was just the the beautiful presentation on their fragrances we have our package here so let's go ahead and get into this and see what we have inside we have a sampler box here look at this burlap bag though beautiful burlap it's really smooth there's other burlap bags that i've received in the mail and they're usually a little bit more coarse uh, this one is really nice and really smooth like and i'm keeping this bag too then we have another one this feels like it's a full-size bottle here beautiful presentation here everything seems like it's just handled with care and we got a we got a little letter here as well check out this sticker here i just love the attention to detail here this has the the bell aromas statement scents opening our letter and i love i love like just the attention to detail with everything look at these cards here so we have two cards dear naps and nurture i hope you enjoy the fragrances and we look forward to your honest thoughts may your choice of fragrance be an external statement of who you are and an internal remembrance of your unique power sent with love and the house name on the back del santo statement sent also here the discount code sample 10 for 10 percent off your first purchase i hope you enjoy the bell santo experience when sampling please allow each scent to dry down on your skin you will find that the true beauty of each scent unfolds with time and blended and bottled and hand packaged scent with love bell santo and here on this card you have the two sample types as well as all of the samples in each one of those accompanied by the notes for each fragrance so this is extremely helpful so we're going to go ahead and open up our full bottle first i am anxious do you hear me nicely wrapped unroll this here and you are met with our packaging here the name of this fragrance is opulence elegance abundance favor grace success bold and sophisticated this is the Arte perfume concentration one ounce bottle 30 ml so we're going to open this up here give this a little twist and you have some additional wrapping so she was looking to make sure that this was not not damaged there's no games being played when you're sending your product from from one part of the world to the next you want to make sure it arrives in one piece and she does an excellent job with packaging and you are just met with a beautiful presentation here you have opulence and gold lettering here on the front the bell santor logo here on embellished in, in gold as well you got Arte parfum right underneath it beautiful you have like this uh like this brown and almost light burgundy gradient vibe going on here on the bottle silver atomizer here accompanied by the wood cap now this is what i want you guys to take a look at because i wasn't expecting this and this was i thought was just super super detailed and just purposeful and super meaningful to me look at that this is a wood cap and this is engraved onto the top of the wood cap. Naps and Nurture 2 2022 and has the Bel Santo logo right underneath it. That is beautiful, yo. I love that detail. This is one of her options when you're purchasing a fragrance to to be able to add engraving to add a name or add a date that is that is beautiful i am in love with this presentation i love the simplicity but i also love how sophisticated and how well done everything is this is this is really nice here and i'm i'm very impressed so far
The cap on this holds extremely well, doesn't slip, doesn't come out of there. Pull that up. You're met with a silver atomizer here. Let's check the spray on the atomizer here. Really nice spray and a very fine mist too. Really fine mist. So here is the notes for opulence. You're gonna get rose, violet, amboise, saffron, grapefruit, amber, leather, as well as oud. Now this note layout sounds extremely promising, so I'm excited to try this one out. When I was looking for which fragrance I wanted, I was wanting something that was a bit more smoldering, uh, dense, saturated, a bit bold. I was looking for something around that, around that sort of a vein. You get a really fine mist. When this hits the skin, it doesn't, it's that, uh, that sort of misty dryness that I like in a fragrance. Genre Parfums do a really good job at creating those atomizers that once you spray it and it hits the skin, it doesn't feel wet like some fragrances do. You spray some fragrances and you just have like this sort of puddle on your skin. This one atomizes it and it's so fine. It's so, it's so light and misty and refreshing. Hits the skin and it's, there's no like wet sort of feeling. It, it just, everything is just evenly coating the skin very gently. Wow. So what is, what's truly unique about this is that the, everything smells completely natural. First off, the wood is, it's the most daintiest, but dry and smoky wood, but it's just, it's so dainty. The, just the way that it's done. Oh my God. I'm picturing like, just like the neatest, most pristine, dainty piece of wood that you could possibly think of. That grapefruit sitting alongside that wood is perfect. Point blank period. You're getting this dry, almost powdery, very pretty like wood note. It's got a little bit of smoke, but it's not a whole lot. It's very, very neat. Everything is so clean and straight line about how it's coming out of this bottle. That grapefruit is gonna sit next to it and create this very special and just gorgeous combination between that wood, that tight, high-pitched citrus, and then just how smooth it is. It's not really as boozy as I would have thought. Then there's this like this slight, very slight, extremely slight funk that comes from that oud and you're getting like that, that really, really, really bitter grapefruit rind. You're getting that vibe mixed in with that, but it's, it's so light. It's very light. It's very clean and neat the way it's done. Uh, there are some ooze that have a little too much funk going on and it just makes it off-putting. This one makes it alluring because it's so clean and neatly done that you know that it was purposely done that way. Uh, it's ha this has the ability to take a, a, a woody and oud fragrance and, and take some grapefruit and make it just extremely clean, but at the same time, the name matches is is opulent it's it's full it's dent dense it's still saturated but it's it's just it's so clean and so neat and i was not expecting that as this is mind-blowing the way that this smells i can't believe this is actually here with me in my hands at first spray it's almost like this candied grapefruit for a split second then it, it, everything is so natural. Nothing, nothing smells synthetic. At least to my nose, nothing really is coming off synthetic. There's a little bit of warmth that is in there. It's, it's full at the same time, but it's not slouchy. It's not overly saturated. It's not doing too much. There's a, a, a good sense of direction of where you're heading when you wear this fragrance. You're not confused as to where it's going or what it's trying to be. Everything works together in this. Everything is neat in this. The leather note comes in very neatly and it's going to sit right alongside that grapefruit 
right alongside that that oud you got some florals that's going to come in and support that rose and oud always to me in my opinion work well together if you do it correctly and this one is perfect nothing is really jumping out at you the only things that will will be that almost grapefruit rind like note as well as that oud freight that oud note those are going to come together and and really give you like this powdery yet smoky clean and neat and pretty sort of a vibe like i said it's it's such a dainty wood and grapefruit scent but at the same time it's something it's not something that i'm afraid of or afraid to put on this is gorgeous man this is just a gorgeous scent and i truly recommend you guys try this one out this one is opulence just a beautiful bottle and an even better fragrance this is just gorgeous i, I can't get enough of that Right now, my wife's asleep, but I can't wait to wake her up in the morning so she can try this out, see what she thinks. Uh, I definitely want to smell this on her skin because she don't really have anything woody, but I think this one would do and perform so well on her skin. Thank you so much to the gorgeous young lady who sent this to me. I am flattened at how great that is, yo. And everything that I'm saying to you is, I'm telling you, you're going to get that powdery, slightly smoky, neat, kind of dainty and pretty grapefruit and wood food fragrance. Here we have our sampler kit. We're going to open this up. Once again, the presentation. Just taking, just taking what you do. A little bit more serious just something simple as you know embellishing your logo on the front in gold and that gold is just sexy let's just be honest here got our sampler set here i want to say that these are five ml samples I'll check it out she like us but she don't love us that much first one we're trying out zero tonin this fragrance features notes of jasmine lang lang Orange Blossom, Carnation, Tuberose, Honey, Patchouli, Vetiver, Amber, as well as Musk. So I predict this one to be like a, a light, musky, slightly powdery, uh, almost herbal floral. Have a little bit of sweetness going on there. Uh, definitely like a pretty, pristine, powdery tuberose scent. Let's see what we got while we over making predictions. Mm, with all that that's there all the florals the the earthiness the powderiness which is there it's almost juicy like not necessarily juicy but dripping like there is uh some wetness or some dampness to the, those florals you know that that after or after it rains kind of a vibe that's the vibe that it has like this refreshing uh misty earthy floral powdery slightly sweet vibe it's very pretty this is oh this one is a little bit more feminine uh for my taste so, but my wife she would probably go crazy over this just beautifully done everything is so well blended everything smells natural but without it smelling like an, an herb shop or a medicine shop uh, it doesn't smell like you just went and picked up essential oils uh, off of Amazon, as she would say. It smells, it smells natural, like it's where it would originally be found at and not picked and distilled and bottled. Next one, Khalifa. This fragrance features notes of oud, rose, saffron, cypriot oil, jasmine, vanilla, as well as sandalwood that one is uh that one's a bit more that one's a bit stronger that one comes off like a resinous woody peppery kind of a vibe the vanilla comes in as just a little bit of creaminess to it but not a whole lot very very dense but it's sharp this one is really sharp in my opinion resinous it's kind of warm got a little bit of a peppery vibe extremely woody extreme almost industrial 
but not quite. It's something that's keeping it and pulling it back from that direction. What I like so far is there's this slight daintiness and this pretty sort of a vibe that's slightly found in every fragrance that I've smelled so far. We still got three more to go, but I love how that vibe is there, but it's not done overly so where it's excluding you know some another party it still feels very inclusive but there's just like this this little undertone like this dainty undertone to everything that's made i hope i'm pronouncing this right Bolanle. very pretty sounding fragrance here this fragrance features notes of rhubarb pink pepper sandalwood patchouli amber caramel vanilla oud as well as musk been loving the usage of the ouds in the woods here get a few sprays let's see what we got oh man i smell that in the air and that is nice mm. a very creamy there's a really like sharp sweetness it's not syrupy at all it's it's not or mine at all but there's like a sweetness that's there but it's really high pitch and really sharp it's like this um slight medicinal and herbal sort of a vibe going on as well uh guys it has like this uh has a pepperiness to it and then you get that that wood you get that oud comes in and i love how she does her oud it's 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 not funky and dirty and raunchy it's not that damp sort of ooh. It's not animalic in any way. It's this really clean, neat, very dry, almost industrial sort of ooh. But it complements so many other notes around it. And uh, there's a lot of other notes surrounding it that complements it as well. You get like this slight saltiness from the caramel, but not a whole lot. Like it's, it's just teasing you like right on the top of the wood. It's almost as if if you had agarwood and just drizzled honey on top and just let that sit for a few years. Like I said, the vanilla comes in as just a little bit of a creaminess to it. Not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot that any note is doing to disturb the next note. Every note is allowed its chance to breathe and do its own thing. Like I said, you're getting that sort of peppery vibe, of course, uh, attributed to the pink pepper. I say that some of that oud or some of that wood has something to do with that as well. So far, I haven't had any fragrances that I'm just like not impressed by. So far, everything has been done well, extremely well blended. And as corny as this may sound, uh, you can just tell that she cares a little bit more about what she's doing. Next fragrance, Debonair. Debonair features notes of Guayac wood, vetiver, cedar wood, amber, tonka bean, as well as resins. So I was talking about one of the fragrances being a heavy hitter. This is probably going to hit heavy. Guayac wood, vetiver, cedar wood, tonka bean, and resins. Yeah, this is going to hit. In my opinion, it's going to hit heavy. Oh, man. There's this tanginess that's there, too. Oh, man. That's not what I was expecting. There's this... There's like this sparkly tanginess that's there. It's like almost um, the same sort of vibe that you would get from uh, Barreto Barafri. That sort of powdery, mysterious sort of vibe. Um, it kind of gives me that. Like there's a, not an orange, not a neroli, not necessarily an orange flower, but it, it still comes off like a herbal orange, like something green, like the the plant the leaf it comes off like that and it hits that vetiver that is pleasant yo I, I was expecting it to be just like this woody peppery bomb just slapping you in the face from the note layout but what you get from this is you're gonna get like this really soft sparkly almost like an orange herb like an orange plant then you're gonna get the amber is going to come in. The amber is going to come in. Those woods, that cedar wood, that vetiver sort of dances around in the background. I love that. I love that little pleasant, hangy sort of vibe, like right in that opening. That was a pleasant surprise. I was not expecting that. 
And last but not least, Alpha Black. This fragrance features notes of black currant, bergamot, apple, incense, rose, sandalwood, patchouli, as well as musk. I love bergamot, I love black currant, and I also love apple in the fragrance. So I'm super excited to see what this one turns out like. I'm gonna go ahead and place this one right here. Oh, hmm. Oh man, you're getting sort of muted, spiced apple fragrance. It, it smells like there's an apple there. There's some slight spice. It's not as spicy as I would have thought. The incense is really smooth and just sort of clean. Like I said, everything that I've smelled so far is very clean. Nothing's really dirty. Nothing's really raunchy or obnoxious. Everything is clean, neat, um, about as neat and as clean as some wood heavy fragrances can get. This one, oh man, this one, the apple and that black currant comes together and you get just like this temporary zesty and tangy apple. And then you get like this dark, uh, sort of warm and musky um, black currant. And it kind of overtakes that apple. What that does, at least to me, is it mutes, not completely. It just sort of grays out that apple and that incense and creates this one scent profile. It's really nice, yo. It comes in with that incense and it creates this, this odd sort of a vibe. So the bergamot provides a little bit of the freshness. The apple is going to provide some freshness. The black currant is going to provide this musk as well as the additional uh, musk note. The rose is going to come in right along besides those and contribute to that as well, giving you just a slight floral, but not too much. It's, everything is respectful in how it comes off. This, in my opinion, smells like apple, black currant, infused water. That's how this comes off. The, the incense, for some odd reason, doesn't really bother anything. It doesn't overtake anything. It just sits right almost inside of that black currant as that black currant is sort of covering. And like I said, just slightly graying out and not completely, but just slightly graying out that apple and that incense sort of vibe. Uh, the bergamot comes in providing like this uh, misty sort of freshness, almost like a water sort of a vibe. And so this smells to me like a muted, like a apple black currant infused water. It's airy that some of those florals, those florals come in and adds like this nice airiness to it. The patchouli in this one is a bit more clean. Not as dirty, earthy as uh, I'm used to with other fragrance. It seemed like it wants to warm up a little bit. And that's almost like a, a woody vibe that I get. Not in the sense of the one she's used, but like a oak. Almost like that damp wood vibe. Oak always does that for me. It depends on which ones it is. But it always comes off like really sort of damp but dry, funk, like sort of funky. And this one nearly does that, but most of that is attributed to that black heron. Black heron is one of those tricky notes that can, it can show you a lot of love or not, you know? And this one, the way she blends it, it shows love. And the way it sits right next to that apple is massively done. Listen, I am supremely impressed by this brand. Bell Santor, right now, the way I'm looking at everything, 10 out of 10. I can't really complain about anything. Everything smells completely amazing. The presentation was done and it was purposeful. The shipping, let's, let, let's talk about this shipping, all right? The shipping on this was incredible. I got notified that this was being shipped on the 8th, on the 10th it was in the mail i mean it was at my house and it wasn't at my house late in the evening like oh this is the last package we we, we barely rushed it over here. it was like first thing in the morning 
I got this roughly around like 10, maybe nine o'clock, uh, delivered right to my doorstep. And I thought that was truly unique uh, because I got a package that's supposed to come from New York that still hasn't gotten here. And I, that was ordered on the 5th. So the fact that this got here so quickly and you just get, you get this beautiful presentation. Opulence is definitely one of my favorites from them so far. I love this. Like I said, this is, oh man, and I keep forgetting about this cap, yo. The naps and nurture engraved on top. That's just, oh, wow. I'm gonna probably end up using this up so quickly. The, it's just a beautiful, believable, natural smelling grapefruit and oud fragrance and it's done masterfully. That leather just sits right in between both of those, but it, 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 don't, it don't get out of character. It ain't acting out. It ain't doing too much. It's just chilling right right by that grapefruit and right by that, that oud. That, that leather note is just chilling and it's it's just respectful and then polite as possible and sometimes you need that sometimes you don't need that couch leather that smells like you you it's a couch sometimes you don't need a couch i i got furniture already i don't need no couch sometimes you just need a nice respectful polite courteous leather to come in and just be there just be here. I don't need you trying to take over anything. Just be here and support those who and support those who are around you. This is beautiful. I kid you not. If you get a chance, and let's be clear, her price point isn't bad at all. Head over to their website and check out their price point. Check out their presentation. Check out their other offerings. Their price point isn't bad at all no fuss with that price i will drop a link in the description where you guys can go to their website and just casually browse see what they have to offer see what suits your liking see what suits your fancy i guarantee you you will find something that you like and that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will see you guys soon peace